Welcome to Geek Squad Installs. Today, we're going to show you how to install a card deck. According to the Geek Squad Autotech Fit Guide at every Best Buy store, we'll be using the following parts. A dash kit with spacers, the wire harness, antenna adapter, as well as the receiver itself, and the various different cables and connectors that it comes with. Let's review the tools that we're going to need for this project. Before we begin, always do a brief inspection of the electrical system to verify what is working. Note anything that isn't working before beginning to work on the vehicle. Also, make sure to perform an external vehicle inspection and document any scratches, bug marks, or rock chips you find. Before removing anything, make sure to check the CD player for discs. Make sure to document the radio presets in order at this time, to re-input later in the new receiver. For the best results, make sure to review the instructions in the installation kit manual or owner's manual. Based on the disassembly instructions, this dash should pop right off. So we use our plastic removal tool, insert it in the corners, and pop it. Doing so will release the clips, allowing the entire dash to come right off. Now it's time to remove the old radio. Since this radio is held in by four 7mm bolts, we'll remove the screws using a 7mm nut driver. Make sure to do this by hand, to avoid breaking components with an overpowered drill. Next, we'll pull the radio out and disconnect the antenna adapter, main power harness, and auxiliary harness. Check to make sure the radio harness from the kit fits the harness in the vehicle. At the same time, make sure the antenna adapter fits as well. Now that the radio is out and we have verified all of our parts, we can start wiring up the new radio. Start by connecting the new radio's harness to the radio adapter harness. In this case, the radio harness wire colors are similar to those in the aftermarket harness included in the kit. Using the wire stripper to strip the wires to 3 quarter inch in length, We'll match up the wires by their colors, twisting matching colored wires together before covering them with crimp caps. Make sure the crimp caps are nice and solid by tugging on them. This will ensure they do not come loose inside the dash. Using a couple of zip ties will help relieve stress on the connections when pulling on them later. So use one around the top of the connections and one around the middle of each side, which will help keep it nice and neat. Make sure to use flush cutters to trim the ends of the zip ties. Our next step is assembling the mounting bracket. So following the instructions in the manual, we'll add spacers on the mounting bracket, connect the side brackets, and snap things into place. Sometimes the radio will come with a mounting sleeve that may not be needed. You'll need to remove it and install the mounting bracket to the radio matching up the mounting hole pattern correctly to ensure a firm connection. Now that we've got our radio mounted into the mounting bracket, let's clean up the mess of clipped wires and zip ties and move on to the install. Our first step is to plug the harness into the vehicle's wiring until it clicks. Next, Plug the harness and antenna into the radio before sliding it into the dash. Making sure the mounting holes line up, slide the screws into place and tighten them by hand. 
You may find that the factory screws won't be long enough after using spacers on the mounting harness, so you may need longer ones to complete this step. Make sure to use a hand tool to avoid over tightening or breaking anything at this step. Next, test the radio, CD, and audio functions and verify that the receiver is working properly. This would be a good time to program in the radio presets that you documented earlier, in the same order. Now it's time to put the dash back on. Being careful not to pinch or get caught on any wires, click the dash back into place. Done? Great! Let's test it out and see if it works! Go back through your vehicle checklist again to make sure everything is functioning as it was before. Thanks for watching this episode of GeekSquad Installs. We hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of a receiver install in a 2007 Ford Edge. If you've watched this and feel inspired, try it yourself. If you need help, check out our other install videos, visit GeekSquad.com, or schedule an appointment with a GeekSquad Autotech at a Best Buy store near you.